What do you make of this, I think you can call it unprecedented move, of campaigning during the other side's convention? I just, I'm aghast that tradition and norms from the 20th century are falling by the wayside. Um, you know, if he wasn't seen, we'd be talking about why is he being hidden? So, you know, I'm glad he's doing it. I have a, a feeling that once the Milwaukee uh, convention starts on Monday, that Donald Trump will know exactly how to bring back the attention to himself. Look, I think Democrats have been surprised by how disciplined Donald Trump has been over the past two weeks to allow the focus on Joe Biden to continue, right? They pushed back the VP nomination. He hasn't said anything all that crazy. I, I could hear I could hear the uh, irony and sarcasm in your voice of saying norms and traditions have gone by the wayside. But if you're Joe Biden, don't you want to not be around next week so you allow the focus to be on Donald Trump rather than on whatever misstep or gaffe or misstatement he makes because we know he makes them. You know, what's funny is that when you say he, 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 I get lost because they both make gaffes. They both say strange things sometimes. So I don't know who can get in the other's face. The convention, both parties traditionally um, and still use it as four nights to put their best foot forward. I, I don't remember the themes of the four nights in Milwaukee, but they're all make something again, make something great again. Make, something make, great make again. America wealthy, safe. There whatever and great so you know if you can interrupt that battle rhythm then that's as good as if a week later donald trump is giving a rally and you can hold a rally that counter programs i mean this isn't you know this isn't the tet offensive where you're supposed to lay off and <laughs> honor some sort of you know armistice um if the republican convention is well done and it's well argued then you know it doesn't make a difference what joe biden said first of all and I'm going to take a little pot shot at the media here. It's the media that is, uh, you know, holding on with bated breath every time Joe Biden opens his mouth. So the media is what's making it possible for the Biden campaign to so easily disrupt um, the Trump campaign. Although I really don't think that's what they're doing. The calendar just happens to work out that way. And look, come Monday, we actually don't know what the Biden campaign will be doing. I hope. Frankly, well, we know we do. We do know they're, they're in Austin. They're they're in Austin, Texas, on Monday, and they're in Las Vegas, Nevada, on Tuesday. I don't know what the rest of the week um, looks like. Um, Chris Hahn is also with us, the host of the Aggressive Progressive. And Chris, I'm going to interrupt you uh, as soon as the president starts talking. Normally, the person to be inter uh, who would be introducing the president of the United States would be the governor of the state of Michigan, a Democrat named Gretchen Whitmer. She's not there. Yeah. Nor is the state's senator, Democratic senator, nor is the Democratic candidate for Senate there. Somehow, all of these people, Democrats, in their state, a swing state, are too busy when the president of the United States shows up to town. What do you make of that? I think that says it all, right? I think that the Democratic Party has uh, a real problem on its hands. And they've got to figure it out. And frankly, the only person who could truly figure it out is Joe Biden. And I question whether or not the facts are getting to him. Unfortunately, there is a segment of the Democratic Party that wants to ignore what's right in front of their face. That 74% of voters are concerned about the president, not because of his policies, not because of anything he's done. I think he's been a great president. But because they are not sure that he can make it through another four years in the White House. And I think that concern has not fully been addressed. I think he did better yesterday. I think he's been fine in his appearances. But clearly, people are concerned about what's going to happen next. That's why we're all waiting with bated breath about every move he makes. I do not think it's sustainable. And I think mm -hmm. that voices that are saying this in the Democratic Party need to be heard. And they need not be ostracized right. by our brothers and sisters in the Democratic Party. Because it's a real problem. And it could lead to a disaster in November if it's not addressed. Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's 
fact-driven, unbiased coverage.